Well, I don't even know what the final score was. Was well, it 74-48? Uh, you know, obviously, um, I don't think the score was indicative of the game the girls played. Um, not taking anything away from Alter, that was that was a great game by them. I think they shot almost 60 percent. Um, you know, just a great game by them. Um, but I thought our girls did a heck of an, or had a heck of an effort. Left it all on the court. Um, very proud of the accomplishments that this team has had this year. Um, just we we ran up against a buzzsaw, and at the end of the game, we just didn't have enough to finish. I guess that's my opening statement. Questions? Uh, yeah, um, you know, Katie just making a hustle play, uh, kind of got in and, and um, uh, broke her finger, or at least with, that's what we were told. She hasn't had x-rays yet, um, but we were told she wouldn't be coming back to the game. And You know, Katie's um, obviously an engine. You saw how she played there at the end of the half and how she was able to, to do a couple quick things. I don't know that we really recovered from that. Um, you know, we, we don't have a deep rotation, um, but clearly missing Katie, you know, we had fought and scrapped to stay with a team that's shooting 75% from the free throw line, 60% from three point, and 57 from the field. You take any one of those numbers, those are exceptional. You roll them all together, you know, the fact that we were down four at that time, I thought we were doing a, a pretty good job of and getting ready to make a run. You know, we, we were looking like things were getting ready to turn, but unfortunately after that, as you said, they went on an 8-0 run and um, kind of changed the complexion of the game, or complexion anyway. Hey, what was your mentality when you guys still battled, but when you walked around and Katie's in the locker room? I mean, it was hard, but we played with heart till the end, so I'm proud of us. Talk about Aaron's, Aaron Kaufman's effort. She had 10 points in about a minute and a half span and turned the team all the way down to four in that third quarter. That was yeah, I, I, she had a, she made a shot, but I think she fell and, and uh, knocked the wind out of her or hurt herself or something. I don't know exactly what happened. Uh, but we were sending a sub to the bench, and um, before we could get her out, she just went on a little tear. Um, you know, from a coaching perspective, in a game like this, you know, you never really know how things are going to turn out. But, you know, as a coach, been with this kid for four years, and to watch her walk out is heartbreaking. But to see what Aaron was able to do <laughs> from a coaching perspective, it's like, hey, we, we just found a player. Um, and I thought Aaron did a great job trying to lead the team for a short period of time. Um, unfortunately, I think it burned up almost all the energy that she had. Uh, we did do some substitution um, there to try and get her some rest, but uh, she didn't really recover, I don't think, from whatever uh, had happened. Back to back, State Bonner finishes. What does that mean for this program and all the effort that these girls and you put in over the last few years? <laughs> I. You know, when, when she came in as a freshman, we talked about hanging banners. Uh, obviously, we would have liked to hang the first place banner. But to come from, a, a you know, her and her sister and, and the group of girls that I had to work that hard and, and to come back to back in two di different divisions, I mean, you know, I, I, kind of like what I said last year. You know, you, you don't, at the moment, it's hard to, you know, because you came so close. You got to the final game, and obviously this year it was a little different than the three-point game last year. But I think that the runner-up will mean more to us down the road than it does right now. But it obviously hurts. It stings to get to this game and, and then have the game slip away from us in the third quarter or fourth quarter. But um, truly a testament to the program and, and the effort that she's led in the last four years, and, and I think the younger girls have bought into. Honestly, as a freshman, I thought we were going to be good because we had a lot of talent, but I never really expected we were going to make it this far. And I'm just so happy with all of these girls. I mean, I've made so many friends and we've become a family and it's just amazing because our community is so close and all of these fans and coming to state two years in a row, who would have thought? So it's amazing. Danny, how do you put things in perspective? I guess beyond that, um, you know, with your involvement in the regional final and here you are moving up by uh, division and going back to state. 
Well, obviously, in the beginning of the year, we wanted to win WBL. That was our main goal. But once we kind of collected together and discussed what we really wanted to do, we wanted to go to state, obviously, again. So that kind of burst us, and we kept working really hard. And I'm very proud of how we accomplished this goal this year. Troy, you said you're going to break down film of the, get the older team. And you know, when you looked at the film of Braxton Miller and then you saw her out here up close, you know, how did that compare with what you thought you were going to see? <laughs> well, she looks good in either location, whether it be on film, uh, an opposing gym, a home gym, or on the state finals floor. Obviously, you know, she's a nice player. She's, she does things really well. Um, but I thought, you know, we, we were holding our own and really um, handling, uh, I thought, the defensive rotations and things early. We broke down, um, and that will probably be the difference in the game up to that point. Every time we broke down, they scored. You know, back door cut. We didn't find a shooter. Um, you know, where maybe we didn't capitalize on that early. Uh, they had a few breakdowns. We didn't see people. We didn't find them. Uh, we missed cutters cutting through the lane a couple of times. Um, and you know, obviously they they played at the at the high level for a long period of time. And those girls have been here. Um, you know, both their guards are three year starters, so they have a lot of experience. Um, but you know, you can't. You can't simulate that kind of stuff in practice. So, and we didn't have a lot of time to prepare. You know, we're down here enjoying the moment and letting the girls relax and have fun. Um, but it's definitely the, the most quality and well balanced balanced team that we've seen all year. And um, just somewhat unfortunate that we didn't have our five against their five the whole way. Uh, Kylie, uh, coming back next year, obviously, the game's <laughs> going to be gone. What's your goal? You've been here twice. The brass ring within sight. You got a lot of players coming back. Um, well, it's kind of hard to think about next year with just losing Danny. It's just going to be really hard. But I think coming back, we should have the same goals and mentality that we had for this year. You've had a few more players going from last year's squad. And just how you seen the progression of Danny stepping into the senior leadership and just being able to lose a few more pieces but still get back and have Danny take charge as a senior. Oh, I wish we had a whole bunch of pieces to just plug in. Uh, we, you know, get back in the gym this summer and we'll, we'll work and we'll see what we can do. Um, and I can't, it's going to be hard to replace the heart and effort. I don't think she ever got beaten as a suicide. So, you know, maybe Les beat her a couple times when she was younger. Um, but, you know, it, it's not by accident that she plays as hard as she does. She works at it every day in practice. So to replace that, you know, and, and you know, I don't, to be honest, when we prepped for the game, we weren't even sure Kylie was going to be playing. She hit shoot around yesterday, tweaked her knee, and, and didn't practice. So another Ironman effort, gritting through it. Um, you know, and then Katie breaks breaks a finger. Uh, Lexi was doing it as about as, as much as she could, guarding Braxton through most of the early part of the game. And you know, we just we need a little deeper bench, or we needed intervention. Um, we didn't get either. But uh, very proud of the girls' effort. Kylie, looking at it from a different perspective, how do you sum up the season? I mean, the team was up the division, not that big of a jump, but still um, you know, you're back here again, a lot of people looking in this position. Well, the season was kind of a roller coaster. We had our ups and downs. We had good games, we had bad games, but I would not trade any of the moments for anything. It's been like the greatest ride ever. Just being with these girls, my teammates, my family, like, I love these girls, and I don't think that I would want this season to have gone any other way. Well, I mean, a win would have been nice, but. Kylie, <laughs> <laughs> uh, with us to seeing you guys every single game this year, I, I think the three of you, you and Katie, and I believe it was Danny, huddled up there, and uh, at least a minute and a half that you guys were hugging at, at the end when you fouled out. I think that sums up what the, the kind of team you guys had, the sure closeness that you are. Uh, really easy to cover that, to carry that over, you know, I know it's a long way away, but to cover, to carry that over in the next year. I mean, we are going to try, but it's just going gonna, gonna, gonna to be hard to replace Danny. She's an awesome teammate and an awesome friend, and it's going to be hard losing her. We're proud of you guys. <laughs>